What's going on guys? My name is Todd. Welcome to Should We Drift. Before I get into the video, I want to say I'm very sorry about not uploading many videos in the past, past month. The reason behind that is because uh, I was going to make a video like going down, picking this car up, doing the road trip, going to Melbourne, all that sort of stuff. Unfortunately, on the way, we found out that Caitlin's childhood cat passed away. Uh, kind of put a big bummer on the whole trip. Uh, I was quite sad. Uh, you know, uh, she didn't get to like say goodbye or anything like that. Big rip to fatty. The little cat. Put a photo of her here. Bye. <laughs> she was very cute. Uh, next thing, I did film a video getting into this thing behind me. Um, I filmed it all, put it on my computer, and all the files are corrupt. So I was like, oh, so it's been a month. So I, <laughs> I'm here. I'm doing it. We're fuck, we're here. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. So that's what this video is going to be about. Checking out this new car. I do apologize for the lighting. It's the afternoon and I just cannot get this thing in a good spot to get a good shot of it. But it is a 1998 R34 Skyline sedan. I'll firstly go into why I bought this one. Got this guy for $700 from Melbourne, as I said. Went down there, picked it up. Reason it was so cheap, it is missing a fair few things off it. It does still have the engine in it, but a bunch of parts are missing off it. I'll show you in a second. Didn't have suspension, didn't have wheels. It has been in a front ender. It's got a little bit of damage in the front. Um, there's like a scuff back here. No biggie. Bit of a dent in the seal. It will be inside skirt, so it doesn't matter. No wheels, no suspension. Um, 700 bucks, so cheap. So, so, so cheap. It's got most of the interior in it, kind of. It's got the seats just kind of thrown in there. Door cards are in the boot. Bits of stuff missing out of the center here. But, in saying that, it's track car. It's not gonna do any of that sort of stuff for where we're going. <laughs> As you can see, it's just a fair few things off it. All the coil packs are gone. Belts, alternates cracked from the crash. <laughs> um, yeah, missed a fair few things out of here. Dude bought it to strip. He bought it for like the bonnet, the wheels, the suspension that was in it, that sort of thing. So he's pulled all that off. As you can see, it's been in a front ender. It's got a bit of a bent here, but the rails are straight. Rails are perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, as I said, track car. We'll go on to the plans for what we're going to do with it in a second. Overall, the body's pretty straight on it, so I was happy with that. And it's got this cool little ducktail. <laughs> I have never seen one of these before. I saw one photo on Google of it. There's a bit of pain off it, but I've never seen one of those on a 34 Ford or before. Looks very cool. Tail lights have been nightshaded. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. That looks awful. We'll get into the reasons to why I bought a 34 and I wanted an R34. I don't like any two-door Skylines, except 31s and earlier. I think all the later two-doors look a little bit odd. I reckon a four-door Skyline, like the 32s, 33s, 34s, all those four-doors look way better than the two-doors. <laughs> Dunno, it's a personal preference of mine. Much prefer the four-door. The reason I got a 34 over a 32 or a 33 is how big the back ends are. Big tail lights, much like a 31. Big, fat, cool. 33s and 32s look quite small from the back just because of how big the tail lights are and how the boot is on them. I really like the 34s and just how like fat they are. They're a large car, I dig it. Other thing, good platform for like lock mods, bushes, all that sort of stuff. GK Tech has a catalog open for these guys and it's just, ah, it's great. It has so much stuff that I can buy and GK Tech makes some really, really good gear. Keen to be able to actually buy stuff off the shelf and just kind of bolt it in and make it work so I can do some mad skids in it. I like 31s, which you got to f around a bunch with, but whatever. Different story. 34, sick, love it, keen. So, plans for it are, I guess the first kind of few things are obviously the engine. We're going to pull the 30ET out of the wagon, put it in this, continue the turbo setup in this guy. Uh, probably going to get a lot of mad R34 owners. <laughs> I know a lot of people are pretty keen for it, but yeah. Uh, 30E, single cam in this dude. Shoot pretty cool. Just what I was doing with the wagon. 200, 250 kilowatts. Should be fun. Front end, obviously, it's had a crash. All the like, rad support and stuff is damaged. We're going to be tubing the front. So, tube frame on the front. Um, so, we'll cut all the front of that out. Have just the rails exposed. Build our own frame to hold the bumper, to hold the headlights, to hold you know, radiator in a cooler, hold the bonnet down. You know what? It, if you know what a tube front is, you know what I'm talking about. Interior-wise, Bucket seats, full custom wiring loom. I'll be going full custom wiring loom with everything. Body loom, engine loom, all of that. Full cage, which I'll get from AGI. 
Another good thing is you can just buy cages. You can buy seat rails for these things. Crazy, crazy you can buy in just a off-the-shelf seat rail. I've never had that before with my 31s. <laughs> uh, gonna do a kit on it. I was wanting to put a certain kit on it, but it's quite a large kit. Uh, and then looking at the wheels that I'm kind of interested in putting on it, I don't think the kit's gonna suit it. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some research, I don't know yet. But yeah, main things, 30E in, full custom, wiring done, tube front. Yeah, I think like that's kind of the, the, the where the build will start and sort of go from. What I've already done, for, done to it now is I bought some BC Golds for it to put into the car to get it back from Melbourne because I've said it had no suspension and then also I've bought some wheels for it which we'll check out right now. So I bought these wheels for it, um, AVS Model 6s, they're in okay condition, they came with like nearly brand new tyres on them. Feel the lips are a bit damaged but it, like honestly I bought them to just put the car on some wheels and some mismatched stockies or anything like that, I just wanted some wheels to put on there. These were cheap, these I can use as skidders once I get some better wheels for this but for now this is what's going on and I'll throw some space on it so it looks sick. 18 by 8 plus 36 on the front. 18 by 9 plus 30 or something on the rear. Not sure, but all right sizes. Throw some space on there. Should look pretty good. That's it for now. You've checked out 34, showing you everything that we want to do with it. Videos will be coming up soon. I do need to get rid of the wagon before I can even get into this. So pulling the engine out, stripping the wagon, sell all the bits off it. That money I can use to fund this. Obviously at the moment with this whole like virus thing going around, uh, I'm not wanting to spend too much money. Uh, we'll just be kind of doing stuff that we can do without having to spend money. Put the engine in it, lower it, <laughs> uh, start the wiring loom, I suppose. Like, I just don't want to drop any big dollars on it yet. We will have a video coming up on Caitlin's car. We've been doing a little bit of work to that. Getting that sorted, she's really excited. She has her money seen there to spend on it. But again, because of like COVID-19, she does not want to just like drop all that money into the car if, you know, something happens with our jobs or whatever. We want to just have like a stockpile of money. <laughs> so it's coming soon. You'll see a video on us doing stuff with that, just like cheap things, like I said, stuff that we don't spend money on. You'll see some videos of this coming very soon. Thank you everyone for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.